Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. We are doing the 1000 percentage difficulty challenge. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Now this is the third restart and we are progressing uh, somehow and we are still alive but we haven't reached the time like in the previous uh, uh, run so it can go either way. At least we are planning to build a dome here and we will see how that will go but for that dome we'll need resources uh, which are over here concrete and water so i think uh, i will try to reach uh, that my biggest concern concern right now is the people we don't have enough people here and i'm thinking about if i fail this time around again then, uh, then I think what should I do is to try again, but don't use the last arc uh, special rule, which is uh, forbids us to bring uh, colonists from Earth. Okay, now I have to think about if there is any reason not to start the expansion. Well, of course, we don't have enough uh, labor force. That's one good reason. And oh, we have 20 electronics coming in. Yes, because I wanted to build. Oh, I already built the extra sterling generator. Building is destroyed. Oh, yeah. This one. Well, I am. I'm not going to rebuild that uh, sensor tower. We are exploring there and check on the research. Factory amplifications. Okay, that will help us. But I think factory amplifications also require... No, the factory AI requires electronics. I don't think this uh, requires electronics. Maybe, maybe polymers. Yeah, and I, I just moving people around these the two factories because we don't have enough and we should have more people on the farm because we are very low on food now we have a few problems first of all we have a cold wave coming in, coming in and we have a meteor storm coming in so things will be interesting I decided to build a second uh, microdome so we can put more solar panels into it because we will need that for the cold wave. Also I placed the drone hub which we will need but uh, I was thinking I just build a cable uh, there, put some solar panels along it but then I realized when we have uh, we will have a dust storm then that part of the cable will be exposed and it can produce leaks which we have to fix and if i don't realize there is a leak uh, then we can lose a lot of power and even worse uh, we will have uh, to have pipes on this section so we can also lose uh, water and oxygen And we did a planetary anomaly thingy. But that was not nice. And we gained 25 polymers. Which is an incredible help, I won't deny it. But we have stopped fuel production. And I don't want to resume it until... Uh, well, we can resume it for now. So we will build this one up and hopefully uh, we can keep this fuel, fuel refinery uh, going during the cold wave. Because we need to, to make enough uh, energy. 
so we can uh, function during cold waves. Because it is not a good practice to completely uh, stop uh, doing everything during a cold wave because of the power requirements. It has six drone, that six drone but it will be assigned to the commander. Okay. And we spend a lot of uh, metal. So let's collect some. Okay, we are good at night. That's very... No, no, we are not good at night. But... Uh... I think we're still okay. The real question uh, is the meteor storm. And I'm quickly safe spam it. Just, just to be sure because I just cannot deal if the meteor storm hit the colony. We cannot deal with that. Sector scanned. Yeah, we need we need the solar panels. Whoa! Damn it! Oh, that's that's uh, not a problem. In fact, okay, it went away. No, no, don't repair that, please. Okay, all right. So now we can re recharge a little bit. And you, you won't uh, work during uh, night time. And, and we, we are good. 31, I think it will be, it will be enough. Let's check on dust devils. Nothing, okay. You like that? Meteor incoming. Okay, now we're aborting the the mission there. Well, not necessarily. We can still collect because meteor uh, impacts will show up in time. So yeah, we can. I I rather have finished that one. So we can move around. Okay. We have to run back home. We are good with power, but stored power lasts for two hours.
Whoa, what's the matter here? Oh, there's no fuel. Well, if there is no fuel, then there is no point. Then produce uh, machine parts. Now the meteor storm is over and we've got very, very lucky here. So we can uh, have a research progress. Which we needed, but uh, I don't know what to use them for yet. We can finish the biome engineering, which is cool, but uh, maybe. Maybe we should do something else. What comes to me, uh, one of, of course, the greenhouse Mars. So we can start heat uh, up the planet and that would mean the cold waves uh, become shorter and shorter. That would be, I think, a real advantage. What's that? Uh, Bigger domes, we, we cannot afford to build bigger domes at the moment, so that's not an option. Uh, I think I prioritize Drone Swarm, because the biome engineering uh, it in increases comfort, but we have enough comfort level right now, so children will be born. So let's do the Drone Swarm, because we start to build... Uh, drone controllers and we just getting free drones for that and it will happen in the very very near future so that's one thing what would be really good is the factory ai that's an other great upgrade because we don't need uh, anything for that we just have to build it once and it will increase the production and it doesn't need extra energy or, or anything extra at all so that's that's a good one <laughs> and we could use some progress in biotech because we need moisture evaporators sooner or later well we can we can postpone that to be honest because we have a lot of uh, uh, water deposits we can draw on. So that's not an immediate problem. And of course deep scanning. Because deep scanning can reveal more anomalies. This building costs a lot of machine parts and we have to supply it with fuel. And for fuel we need water. Maybe, maybe this will be uh, a good idea and use those uh, this way. Okay, now we have a dust devil here. I hope it will go away before our rovers arrive in this location. Because our transport will cross this uh, road. Ok, 
collect the metals. Okay, it's moved away. Hopefully it will go uh, inside that canyon here. Yeah. No, it's, it's like he, he spotted, oh look, rovers, I can damage them, so I'm moving this way. Are you kidding me? Sector scanned. But I don't want to wait more than I absolutely have to. This is ridiculous. It is chasing the rovers. Night went away. Research complete. Oh, we achieved a goal. Analyze certain map anomalies. And we have a new rocket. Okay, that's nice. Of course, we don't have a fuel for that. But still, that gives us some options. Like we can switch between two rockets, so one can be here, and if we really need uh, some resources and we have the money for that, uh, we can bring it uh, here. Okay, that was nice. It was nice to see that it break on uh, the waste truck formations. If we didn't build that, that uh, does that we would, would go straight into there. Resources are low. Yeah, we don't have enough food. Uh, I want to put down another one there. Sector scanned. And a new anomaly. So let's go quickly and scan it. I can't wait to finish uh, the cold wave or the cold wave to be gone. And we can start uh, produce fuel properly. We just uh, do a planetary anomaly mission and we got 41 rare metals, which is great because we can send it back to Earth if we have the fuel and we'll have some money to burn but I'm intend to do uh, a few more planetary animal missions first because we can access new technologies and and stuff. And also upgraded the, the fuel refiners with amplifier. So we are producing a uh, half rocket worth of fuel each soul that will also help us out greatly okay we did 
the penalty anomaly and we found a lot of new technologies and we have the factory AI now so this is a tough one because we also get the holographic scanning which we increase the birth rate and we are working towards that but this would be also crucial I tell you what, uh, and now we don't need that in the queue. I put it uh, because it was a low cost and it will reveal another technology. I think I put it, uh, this in the queue uh, and we will see if, uh, if, we, uh, if we are having a good uh, amount of resources after we finish this, then I might be prioritizing the Greenhouse Mars because it's easier to achieve and it will take a long time to heat up uh, Mars so yeah maybe maybe we should we should go for that I also starting to think about that we should we have maybe enough uh, people now well once uh, the rocket is returns to have uh, both of our factories working at the same time And we have a damaged rover over here from the Dust Devils. And I think I, I opened both of the factories. sending some uh, rare metals back to earth now the only thing I delaying to start with the expansion because we don't have enough people uh, and I see no reason to waste resources uh, keeping this dome up and empty and we couldn't, couldn't benefit from it so until we will have uh, the workforce to put uh, an electronics factory here and uh, have people working there i see no point but that means we have to wait we have to wait until but well, until this dome is almost full like we need 10 more people and of course a lot of them will uh will be two of them are already senior so it's it, it will be quite a while oh damn it i'm so glad you appeared however maybe the water will force us to expand there Okay, we have a problem. The satellite camera shows the rocket you are trying to land in standard Mars orbit. A small jet of liquid is gushing from uh, the side. Our Magnum 4 rocket seems to have suffered a malfunction in her fuel tank. There are worries that the rocket won't survive the landing sequence. If the rocket lands successfully, we can fix the malfunction with some polymers. Luckily, the rocket is empty. That is on the payload then land. Funding received. We are lucky that this was an empty rocket. Okay. And I think I uh, yeah, not I think I decided that we will risk something foolish. We are buying an RC Safari because we need that for two planetary anomaly. And we will refuel this one and we'll send it back with a full payload of uh, rare metals. 
So we will have some emergency funds. And we can do two more planetary elements. One is for research and one uh, is for an unknown event. And that might benefit us. And currently we can afford to lose a rocket. But I think I will safe scam that. But I'm more interested in the research progress right now. Because we have to uh, have to wrap up uh, or ramp up the birth rate. Because what we have is 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 not good enough. We have more and more uh, senior citizens. Okay guys, we just uh, started the rocket with the uh, exporting uh, rare metals and i think i call this uh, an episode here in the next one we will have the uh, rc safari and we can explore those two anomalies and finishing yeah probably finishing the micro quality medicine and we will building a spire here anyway thank you for watching if you like what you see please uh, press the like button and yeah, i see you in the next one bye